a developing story we're following tonight here in the valley. A woman killed in a violent car crash, and police say the driver who caused that crash tried to take off. Andrew Hasman joins us live near 15th Avenue and I-17. So what happened here, Andrew? The damage was so bad, fire crews had to use the jaws of life to get to the victim, but it was too late. Oh, it was a humongous, humongous crash. You know, it brought me straight up. And the thing of it is, I've never seen anybody walk away from the red car. The victim, who's in her mid-40s, was driving that red car. According to police, she may have not completely stopped at a stop sign and came into the path of the white Dodge Charger. We believe that speed will be a factor. This is a residential neighborhood with a 25-mile-an-hour speed limit. Uh, and there are indications uh, from witnesses that the vehicle may have been doing about twice that speed this afternoon. After the crash, the driver of the Charger took off. And he jumped out the car and left her for dead. Police found that driver hiding in a backyard. This is an individual that went somewhere, hid from officers, and did not call the police. While speed may have played a role in this crash, police do not believe the driver was impaired. And police are still out here investigating, piecing together what happened around 1 o'clock this afternoon. Leaving the scene of an accident is a felony in the state of Arizona, so this driver will likely face criminal charges in this. As for the victim, at this point, police are not releasing her name, but they tell us she was wearing her seatbelt. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Andrew Hasbun, Fox 10 News.